there's a lot you can do in this town You set it up and turn it around We might have come from somewhere else But this is where we found ourselves Welcome to the local show People you work with, people you know Welcome to the season premiere of The Local Show, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thank you especially for our live audience joining us today, again, for our season kickoff. And I'm so honored and excited to bring back a first year, or actually, he's our first show guest every year now for 19 years. Last year, or two years ago, we did it by Zoom. But I want to welcome back Aspen's own Klaus Obermeier. Welcome <laughs> to the show, Klaus. Thank you for being here. You bet. <laughs> And uh, Klaus, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Good? Yeah, I'm doing well, yeah. It's, it's, it's a good life. It's been a very sweet fall yes. without a, too early a freeze. And, and so the trees could do all their work with the new uh, uh, buds for next spring. Uh, and, uh, it, 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 they had the time to really do well and drop almost all the leaves now. Yes. So when the snow comes, they the, the will not break their branches. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I hadn't really thought about that. But yeah. You're right. Yeah. And now they're ready. We're ready. Yeah, and we're ready. Are, are you and excited for skiing? Are yeah, you, you bet. Yeah. We're getting ready for skiing. And uh, uh, next spring will be a beautiful spring because the trees had the chance to prepare for it, you know. Okay, yeah, it's okay, good. okay, and you're feeling good? Yeah, I feel good. Doing fine? Yeah. And so, <laughs> kind of we've been through a pretty challenging time, Klaus, the last couple of years, you know, with COVID and the pandemic, and you've managed to stay healthy and happy, and yeah. Um, we're calling today's show, the title of the show is, Stories and secrets. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are what are a couple of your secrets to staying healthy the past couple years? Yeah. Well, I think the secret is to not eat more than you burn off. Yes. And yes. if you eat a lot, you better do a lot. Yes. 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 More. The more you eat, yeah. the more you need to exercise. Yeah. Right. So you so, want to have the, a, a very good balance there because you you don't want to get too big. Yes. Uh, it uh, the, 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 uh, it ma makes you go too fast on on the steep skiing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and slow going yeah, uphill. Yeah. <laughs> fast going yeah. downhill. Slow yeah. going uphill. Yeah, that, that too. And do you do like special diet? Do you eat mostly from your ranch or any special kind of food that you like well, to eat? Well, yeah. Uh, the, the, we have the wonderful the orchard that was planted about 200 years ago. Wow. And some of the trees show their age now. Yes. But, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but we planted some new ones uh, like 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's beautiful, you know. And uh, this year was not an apple year. But next oh. year will be an uh, apple year, and every two years. Okay. So, but we had apples last till now, and you got some in here. Yes. That that that, that will carry us another two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so is it so is it true, Klaus? What they say: an apple a day keeps the doctor away. It's yeah. good for you. Yeah, uh, uh, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. working for you. Guess, yeah. <laughs> so some days I don't eat an apple because I don't want the doctor to go bankrupt. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you want him to have some work, some job security. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes, that's very nice of you. Very thoughtful. You thoughtful of your own doctor. <laughs> now, do you eat like eggs or chickens or anything else yeah, off your ranch? Yeah, chickens. Okay. So I learned to speak chicken now also. Okay. Uh, some Italian, <laughs> some French. But I don't know what it means. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded a little bit like an Italian chicken to me. <laughs> we'll have to get an interpreter. <laughs> 
<laughs> so some farm fresh food. Um, don't eat more than you burn. You know, yeah. eat eat up, eat smart, yeah. right? And then what about like, are you still swimming? Are you still oh, yeah, swim every yeah, day? Yeah. Well, you know, if you jump in the water, you better be swimming or <laughs> you'll be sinking. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you don't want to drown. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you yeah. do? Do you like to do the crawl? Yeah. Or do you um, do you do different like side stroke yeah. or crawl or what uh, do you like to I do? I swim on my back, some and some uh, on the chest. Okay, like breaststroke. Yeah, like that. Okay. And and some other ways once in a while, but. Uh, and, and I don't swim very fast. I don't want to scare the fish. You yeah. Know? <laughs> See, you're be, again, you're being very thoughtful. Very thoughtful of the fish. <laughs> That's when you're swimming in root eye. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> There's big lake trout in there, like this big in root eye. Yeah. <laughs> so you swim at your ranch. Yeah. And then you swim at, do you still sometimes swim at Obermeyer? At the airport business yeah, center? Yeah, we have a solar heated swimming pool. Okay. Uh, but, but just in the summer. Okay. The, now in the fall, it, 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 the, the sun is drying, but it's not getting it warm enough right. if, uh, to have it open. I think we close it like in September, the end of September, you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What are some other things that you've been doing like the last couple of years just to stay like healthy and happy? Oh, well, you work out, you know, the, 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 on the floor, <laughs> you know, I, I have a machine that's like a bicycle, you okay. know, so okay. the, I do that every day. Some, you need to do something. Some cardio. To, 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 to keep your muscles working and happy. Okay. They get very unhappy if you don't use them. Yes. Yeah. They get, well. Yeah. No, you want happy <laughs> muscles. Happy muscles. Yeah. And are you still practicing Aikido with Tom uh, Crum? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's one of your like your Aikido, long time secrets. We right? were so lucky to have Tommy Crum uh, in Aspen, who teach who's a master Aikido uh, uh, teacher. You know. Right. And. Uh, and I just uh, a half hour ago I talked to him on the phone again. And he he is wonderful. He is. That Aikido is a great martial arts. A, in my opinion, the best. You know. And the martial art, it's not just the movements, right? It's the philosophy. Of... It's the philosophy. It's also the philosophy not to hate an opponent, but love your opponent. You can learn something by working with your opponent, you know? Okay. Don't hate them. Well, hate is a negative energy. You, you don't want negative energy, you want positive energy. Right. When, with problems, with everything, you're positive. You're dancing with it, you know? I love that, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Klaus, we're gonna take a break. We're going to rehydrate, have a little okay. more water. Chin, chin. Cheers. <laughs> thank you for being here. Cheers to Klaus. We're going to take a little break, guys, and I want to thank our winter underwriters for making shows like Klaus Obermeyer happen. I want to thank, first of all, Gonzo Nation, Haiti Children. i got to look at my list the first time. Klug Properties, Highlands Ale House, Obermeyer, Pickin County Landfill, and Sundog Athletics. We'll go to a quick break, guys. We'll be back with Klaus in two minutes with more stories and secrets from Aspen's longest time local and ski bum, don't go away. The Gonzo Foundation is a nonprofit organization created to promote literature, journalism, and political activism through the legacy of Hunter S. Thompson and is a proud supporter of the local show and Grassroots TV. For more information, visit thegonzofoundation.org. I'm so passionate about this community. I absolutely love living here and raising my family here. It gives me a lot of pride to share this with my friends and my clients and help them achieve their 
their dreams of owning an Aspen Snowmass and enjoying this incredible lifestyle. I'm Klaus Obermeier, and I wish you a terrific winter on the Aspen Mountains. <laughs> Locally owned and located at the base of Aspen Highlands, Highlands Ale House features delicious scratch-made comfort food, cocktails, beer, and more. Their sunny outdoor deck is ski in, ski out. Two miles from Aspen, they're open daily, winter and summer. Sundog Athletics, Aspen's adventure sports school, is your opportunity to experience private, all-inclusive snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, and fat biking instructional adventures that will improve your safety, performance, and enjoyment. Welcome to the local show, people you work with. Thanks for sticking with us here on The Local Show, guys. Our season premiere with Klaus Obermeier, I like to call the Yoda of Yodel, is here in the house. And Klaus has um, been involved in so many uh, different inventions over the years, especially with skiing. Your background is an aerospace engineer in Germany, yeah. right? Yeah. An, an engineer um, working on aircraft and rockets and different things like that. And then you would move to the United States and Aspen and then start inventing in the ski industry. And we've got kind of a progression here of goggles through the years. Yeah, Can this, you tell us a little bit about the initial well, this, first this goggles? This was the first one in, uh, in 1947 when we skied here. Friedel Pfeiffer had one also and I had one. Uh, <laughs> there was the first goggle uh, that, that, that you could ski in a snowstorm with okay <laughs> and then these are cool and then they, then they made them a little fancier and then today kind of like that so it's come a long way and and many other things like in the ski clothing have come as long away as this has been Right. You know, because people came in 47 skied in a city jacket, you know. You didn't have a, 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 a ski jacket that didn't exist then. Right, and you were, yeah. a, you were a ski instructor yeah. on Aspen Mountain from 1947 yeah. to 1959. Yeah. And so you really had to come up with this stuff. Like, there was no ski wear, there's yeah. no eyewear. Yeah. There really was nothing. Well, I mean, it, it, it was... Friedel Pfeiffer, who started this Aspen Skiing Company, uh, he, he said, Klaus, when you are not teaching uh, skiing in, in the evening, work on, and you are the, the, uh, the engineer, you, you, you work on how to make skiing safer and how to make it more fun. And so, so that started Sport Obermeier. At the same time as the ski corporation, kind of, you know. Right, that same <laughs> so, year. So, so, and we're, we're both celebrating now the 75 years of doing it. But, but, but that's really not that important because the, our Norwegian friends did it 5,000 years ago <laughs> the, uh, already, except they didn't have any goggles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, had one long pole, right. and and and, and uh, but they did have a binding somehow, and they went hunting that way and fighting that way, and we're doing the skiing for the fun, not for fighting. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> so the Norwegians had like a, a primitive wooden ski, a long pole. I've seen pictures of yeah. that. Yeah. To kind of steer yeah. Yeah. With the pole. It did. Yeah, and and I I think then skiing eventually they brought it down to southern Europe, you know, to B Bavaria, to France, to okay. Austria, okay. to northern Italy, 
the, and and uh, and it was so enjoyable and so beautiful, and the mountains in the winter particularly looked just great. Uh, the, the, and it got people to to appreciate just the outdoors. So, is your favorite invention? Is it the puffy jacket? Is that your favorite, or are they all? They're all, all important. All, all of them. Yeah, it's it's there was just nothing. You yeah. know. Yeah. It's it's easy to be first when there is nothing. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you were one of those pioneers. You know, innovators. Yeah. And you would also innovate, like in your first couple years of skiing, and you started ski racing when you were a young boy. Yeah. In uh, Oberstaufen. Yeah. And you could you tell us about like your secret weapon when you were well, the, started the ski racing? The secret weapon was a, a bundle of steel ledges uh, that I found in uh, Saint Anton and in in Hannes Schneider's store, and uh, uh, <coughs> I mounted those on the skis. Uh, that Stein Eriksson's father made, you know, uh, Marius Eriksson. Right. Great, great, great gentleman. Yes. Uh, and so, so I had uh, uh, some tools to make a groove for the edges okay. and, in, and there are tiny little screws, you screwed it on. Okay. And that was secret. Nobody else in my hometown had any steel edges. So it made me win all the races. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not because I skied that much better, but but I had a better equipment than but, yeah. so how did that so after the race did you like hide your skis? Were you keeping them like hidden? Those yeah, those metal edge skis oh, yeah, they were, keep they, it secret. They were next to my bed <laughs> and, and and I I looked at them before I fell asleep. And I thought, well, it can't get any better. Right? <laughs> well, I was going to say, maybe you bring them into bed. <laughs> Sleep with those things. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty amazing. Yeah. So that worked. It's, it's, but then finally people kind of caught on yeah, to the, to the just, metal edges. It's, it's, it's just been a lot of fun, the racing, because there was the four-way uh, competition, you know, that included... Uh, downhill and slalom and cross country and oh. jumping on the big hill, you know, like 60 meters. Oh, wow. So, so and they were c counted together, and I got first prize. One day I got second prize. That, 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 that didn't go down very well. <laughs> but but, but uh, all the other days I got first prize in that, in that competition. Oh, my gosh. It was fun. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's really what skiing is, right? It's all about having fun. Exactly. It's, it's fun, and, and life is fun. Uh, our planet is a beautiful planet that we inherited. The dinosaurs are gone. Uh, <laughs> so they, they'd be kind of tough pets, you know. Yeah, they would have been yeah, a little bit too big. <laughs> Especially for the housing we have yeah, here in Aspen, but, it's kind of small. But Sixty-five million years ago, they're gone. So right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so with this beautiful planet, and then having fun things, is that are those some of the things that kind of are uh, key to a long and happy life? I mean, having fun to keys to longevity. Yeah, it it is just also. In the summer, we were rock climbing, right. and, and 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 just our house in in town was on the edge of town, and we had some land there, and I could ski down the mountain to the kitchen door. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's awesome! That's fabulous. That yeah. is awesome. <laughs> so and so, so summer and winter. It, we were outdoors and just yeah. loved it. Loved the chamois, you know, when they play in the steep rock climbs. It, 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 I guess our planet has so much life to appreciate and to be thankful for that it exists, you know. Yes. It's... It, it, and and you can play on the planet and be 
outdoors and appreciate everything there is. It's a miracle. Yeah. It's a miracle that we have water, you know, that yes. makes life possible. So it seems like you have a real appreciation for nature and a real uh, gratitude. Yeah. And those are some of the secrets to like a long, happy yeah, life, right? It, yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, if you ski for a long time, you get a, a higher age. <laughs> <laughs> the longer you ski, the longer yeah. you live, yeah. right? It's pretty much a direct correlation. <laughs> so the real secret is just keep skiing. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're on the same page now. <laughs> I'm going to keep skiing. Well, yeah. let's talk about let's let's fast forward to like today's new Obermeyer. Yeah, and like, what are you excited about with this year's line of Obermeyer uh, skiwear? It, 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 the number one is it has to be technically working super well yes. for skiing and for the outdoors, but it also has to look nice. Yes, you know, and and so so we combine. The, the the technical performance part with the looks and and that makes a nice a nice product yes. you know so the, the, this is beautiful it, 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 it works yeah it works it looks it works. good yeah because you also need to go to opre yeah. and look good at opre ski right yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the same day oh yeah yeah, yeah. And that can also be a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> well, so, and, and are you guys um, using, you, you were using bamboo a couple years ago. You try to use the modern kind of fabrics too, right? Like more renewable, uh, more environmentally conscious fabrics and yeah, things like that. Uh, it, it's now the market is so uh, large uh, that there are quite a few mills that make high tech materials that have, that stretch that are kind of wa highly water repellent yes. uh, but that are breathable we get the best materials that are being made on this planet to make the, the vests or jacket or yes. pants uh, and it it just uh, keeps the fun in it also, you know. Right. And it, it seems like it's becoming more you, not yeah. more technical, but also more environmentally conscious. Uh, 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 as time naturally goes on. that too. Yes. We have a solar heating wall on the building in, in Aspen uh, that, that heats 60% of that whole big building wow. from the sunshine. Wow. Yeah, and we did that like 30 some years ago. Right. You guys were that way for ahead. a long, long time. Right. Yeah. So, Klaus, we're down to just a minute. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers today, just kind of about life or about skiing or anything else you'd like to share? Uh, I think just go out and love nature. Just, it's beautiful. I love it's that. so beautiful. Yeah. Appreciate it and be glad to be able to see it and to smell it and to feel it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just that appreciation of uh, yeah. nature. You bet. Our mother, our mother nature. Yeah. Did you have fun on the show today, Klaus? Fun. Did you have fun today? Uh, did, did you have fun? Here, yeah. I'll, make it, I'll make it more fun right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. These are, I baked you some now cookies. Now the fun is starting. This is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> I baked you some cookies. I've got some organic produce. Oh, wow. And well, I, that'll keep me going and I thank for you. the rest of the day. <laughs> At least a few hours. At least a few hours. Thank you, Klaus. You bet. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all you do for Aspen, for skiing, for our world, yeah. for nature. And thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed the, our season premiere of The Local Show. Okay. <laughs> the Gonzo Foundation is a nonprofit organization created to promote literature, journalism, and political activism through the legacy of Hunter S. Thompson and is a proud supporter of The Local Show and Grassroots TV. For more information, visit thegonzofoundation.org.
I'm so passionate about this community. I absolutely love living here and raising my family here. It gives me a lot of pride to share this with my friends and my clients and help them achieve their, their dreams of owning an Aspen Snowmass and enjoying this incredible lifestyle. Sundog Athletics Aspen's Adventure Sports School is your opportunity to experience private, all-inclusive snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, and fat biking instructional adventures that will improve your safety, performance, and enjoyment. Welcome to the 